Welcome to Live at Five with your hostess with the mostess, Fortuna. Let's guide you through hair loss, hair growth treatments, everything out there. It's a minefield. Let me be your guide. Welcome to Live at Five with my bad self. Topic of the day, Brazula, also known as Clascaterone. And today we're looking at, is it better than minoxidil? Let's find out. Welcome back. Remember, if you have your own hair loss or hair growth question, just DM us. We're at It Really Works Vitamins on Instagram. And we are also, just comment here on the YouTube channel. I read all the comments and reply. Let's go. Let's discuss Brazula. Is it better than minoxidil? First up, what is it? Brazula is a brand name for the drug Clascoterone. The drug is a topical solution used in the treatment of androgenetic alopecia, otherwise known as male or female pattern baldness. Brazula is said to inhibit dihydrotestosterone, which can cause hair loss. As you already know, dihydrotestosterone is the androgen hormone or the sex, sex hormone that's 10 times stronger than testosterone. It attaches itself to hair follicles in men and shrinks them in a process called miniaturization. So when you are able to inhibit this androgen, it can stop male or female pattern baldness in its tracks. So the thing that makes Brazula so special is that it will be the very first topical and anti-androgen hair loss drug for both men and women, and it works similarly to finasteride, which as you probably know, is already approved by the FDA. But interestingly, Brazula is still going through clinical trials. It's not yet approved, so it's still gonna be a few years away, but it is interesting to just have this topic in the back of your mind, knowing that if you are on the journey to have male or female pattern baldness because lots of people in your family have this type of hair loss. It's good to know that there is another um, tr treatment out there just like finasteride and it's, I'm going to tell you why it's so interesting right at the end of the video because you're going to be very interested. So let's quickly share the clinical trials. Why is Brazula so special? The drug is now in phase two clinical trials. 400 participants have been using Brazula for 12 months. The phase two trial participants each had mild to mon moderate androgenetic alopecia and they used four different dosages of Brazula. All groups saw an increase in their target hair counts and hair width widths during the study period and positive changes in their hair growth assessment. So the hair growth assessment was really a survey that each participant um, took part in and they just shared how they felt about their own hair and how it was looking. So it's their personal opinion as well. The placebo group, on the other hand, actually found that their hair loss was worsening when their hair loss was being left completely untreated. So the researchers point out that these data, this data confirms that clascaterone stops the hair loss, stops the loss of hair and grows new hair. Now, interestingly, let's discuss the side effects. As you know, finasteride in around 5% or less of people can cause side effects. And these are sexual side effects, including loss of interest in sex, impotence, um, less ejaculate, lots of different issues for people using finasteride and a smaller group of people that use finasteride often find that it can cause mental health issues in people who have never previously had mental health issues. So comparing finasteride to clascaterone, there you have it, there are no side effects, no, the, the manufacturer has stated that the treatment relates, there is, oh, let me start again, the manufa match, manufacturer waffling already. The manufacturer has stated that there have been no treatment related serious adverse events among patients in the clinical trials, declaring the drug as safe and free completely of side effects. So let's discuss when is Brazula coming to the market? The drug is not currently available for use anywhere in the US, the UK or anywhere because it's still undergoing clinical trials. According to the manufacturer, Phase three trials are up next in men. If and when this stage is completed, the drug can move on to the FDA approval stage. So as of 2020, the drug's manufacturer anticipates beginning phase three trials in the first half of 2021. So now really. Unfortunately, they have been delayed by factors related to COVID and they could be delayed again. 
So the drug makers expect beginning sales of the drug in 2024, so just around three years away. It isn't clear if this drug is going to be released in Europe um, or around Europe, yet yeah, on, on our side of the planet. So we, we still don't know. And the com in the company's annual report, in the manufacturer's annual report, they claim that Brazula will be at least effective as minoxidil and Propecia, a drug currently available and proven effective in treating male and female pattern hair loss. So, uh, sorry, just male pattern hair loss. So guys, that is really fascinating stuff. If you feel that when the drug comes out in the next three years, it might be something that you would like to add to your arsenal of products that you're using to keep your hair in the best possible shape. It's good to know that there's something out there that has no adverse side effects. Press, yeah, probably just like it really works vitamins, we have no adverse side effects if you would like to try us out. I don't want to keep promoting myself, but I do would like to share that we have zero side effects. We're suitable for um, vegans, we're halal and kosher friendly, and we have had hundreds of five-star reviews. And actually, before I forget to mention, we have been voted the best hair regrowth product for men by people for, who read shortlist magazines. I've said, said that in such an in, unprofessional way. We've been voted the best hair regrowth product for men by shortlist magazine readers. So there's a huge magazine in the UK called Shortlist. It's available every Wednesday, I think, and it's on the London, uh, like the TFL train line. It's everywhere, uh, especially London and Manchester. And so it's been amazing that the readers of this magazine have found out about us and like love us and we're number one. So check us out at itreallyworksvitamins.com and get 10% off your first order with code MENSHEALTH10. And this code is applicable to subscription orders as well. So please do check us out. I completely forgot to mention that we've also been in Forbes magazine as the... What did we say? What did they say? The best nutrition innovation 2019 and 18. I feel that someone else could have said that better than me. But anyway, this is my brand, so I'm, I'm just <laughs> telling you what's happened. Yeah, so it's been pretty cool. I hope you have enjoyed this video so far. I'm absolutely loving doing these live streams. I love this so much. I love having a live audience. I love speaking to people directly. We're re doing lots and lots of research in lots, into lots of interesting topics that I think that people would like to know about and that are trending. So please do, if you would like to subscribe and please do ask me your questions because I'm preparing for the next few Lives at Fives. If your question hasn't yet come, your answer to your question hasn't yet come up yet, please be noted, please be aware that I'm doing all the research behind the scenes and the answer to your question is coming up within the next We've got 20 more days, 22 more days of this. Can you tell that I'm getting a slight cold? Ooh, the YouTube illness or, oh God, sure, I I'm waffling already. <laughs> it's just like, am I tired? Am I exhausted? A little bit, yeah, but I'm really enjoying it here. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do give me feedback. If you have any feedback on the live streams, on everything that we're doing, check us out at itreallyworksvitamins.com. Can I just say, before I run away, I've done an ebook which is all about how to reduce DHT from the scalp and how to remove DHT on the scalp. Because as you know, DHT is the trigger for male and often female pattern baldness. Having DHT clinging to hair follicles and shrinking them in the, the characteristic shape of um, in the Norwood scale of male pattern baldness, that's the trigger for hair loss. And so if we're able to reduce the likelihood of this happening by removing the processes that this takes place, I feel like I'm waffling, but there's an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. And this enzyme is what triggers testosterone to convert to DHT. When this happens, DH, the process of male pattern baldness starts. So if you can clamp down on that enzyme, plus remove DHT that's already on the scalp, you're far and away like preventing and slowing down your own male and female pattern baldness. That is the key. So I've done um, scalp scrubs, um, I list lots of the foods, drinks and snacks, the nutrients that help to get rid of DHT on the scalp, fight it and never let it come back. It's all in the ebook if you'd like to check us out. I put my heart and soul, my blood and sweat into my ebook. I put loads and loads of effort and it's absolutely chef's kiss. It's such a great ebook. Just, yeah, love it. Guys, I hope you found this video useful. And I was gonna say something interesting.
you know what, I can't remember. It's, it's coming back. It, I'll see you tomorrow at the next live at five. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Feel free to give me feedback. Stick. Subscribe. Say what you like. Give me feedback. Or don't. Love you guys. Feel free to like as it helps the channel. And see you tomorrow for the next live at five. Bye!